Hi everybody. Uh, I guess this is going. I'm going to call this layout update 17. <laughs> so, um, going to talk about a few things. First thing we'll talk about is the yard office. Um, okay, so I've painted it. You can sort of see I've got. I scribed the styrene to sort of look like the concrete blocks. Um, someone asked me about the windows. What I'm going to do for the windows is I'm going to put some, I'm going to outline them with strip styrene. Um, all these windows had Venetian blinds inside of them, so I'll put some glass and I've got some Venetian blinds uh, that I'll put in. And of course, I took the sidewalk off of it because there's not a sidewalk there, and I'm, so I'm going to have to build some steps up to this door. That's where I'm at right now, waiting on the strip styrene to get here. Um, second thing we'll talk about is the last switching video I filmed I had the tripod sitting right here and uh, one of my friends uh, Fran Tesserero said hey you know you can really see those books in the background uh, can you figure out some way to, to block those with the backdrop and I thought hmm that's that's an interesting idea uh, so I'll show you what I'm going to try to do here to uh, to block that so let me uh, stop the camera, I'll put what I've got in place, and then I'll pick it back up. Alright, so this is what I'm going to do. This is just a very, very rough mock-up. Uh, I've got my highway bridge there that was on the other end of the layout. I'm going to get another one. Uh, the one here is the old-time one. Do the drone view here. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put that back down at the other end of the layout. Uh, I'm going to get a modern highway bridge here because there actually is a modern highway bridge at the end of wherever. Um, right now, I've got the staging tracks blocked. Uh, I make, and this is just resting right on uh, there. I can probably, if I put a clamp here and clamp this to that, you see I've got a little um, tab up here. It's just by gravity right now. So I can take it on and off. But I think that if I I can cut that out and actually make that a tunnel, maybe I can disguise it with a signal bridge or something like that. Uh, I'll probably only put it in place when I'm switching, or when I'm filming. Uh, but I thought that was a pretty cool idea. And I really appreciate Fran giving me the extra work. Uh, so I try to do the same to him whenever I can. Give him some uh, good ideas. Give him stuff to work on. Um, so the next thing we'll talk about is... The bridge okay so I have a confession to make I royally screwed up the bridge here's the pieces of it thought I was done when I got back remember I just said I was going to have to paint it first um, before I could actually mount the deck to it uh, when I put the deck on it it wasn't square at all it was like a trapezoid uh, it looked terrible and I used this uh, plastic truck and it ain't coming apart. When you glue styrene together with that stuff, you're not getting it apart very easy. So basically, I pretty much destroyed it getting together. However, you remember I ordered the wrong things. I ordered, so I had four of these extra sides anyhow. And I had, the kit comes with extra cross bracing. And it, so I was able to successfully rebuild the bridge. Let me put it up here. I can successfully rebuild it. Um, and it's, you know, it's okay. It's got the bracing on the ends and everything. I've got the, actually got the, uh, you can't really see them, but I've got the bridge feet on it here. Um, so, so it's okay. But, here's the other thing. So, surprise, I've got track. So you're not seeing the uh, first train because I'm not crazy enough to try to do that. <laughs> it would undoubtedly stall or tip over or something. Uh, this is actually the third train that I've done this. So I'm fairly certain it's going to run. 
the reason why I did this is because I just felt like I needed to place the bridge. I needed to know where to place it. I need to have a straight section long enough to, uh, you know, put the bridge. So as you can tell, it runs. Okay, back to the bridge. Now that this bridge is sitting here, it looks puny. <laughs> Um, I really want a more of a scenic statement than that. So I'm going to get a different bridge. I'm going to get a bigger bridge. Uh, again, I'm not going to have a, you know, the Mississippi River Bridge, but I need something bigger than that for this, this section. I want, I want a bigger statement. So it's probably going to be twice as long. Might even be a, you know, a truss bridge. Uh, I just need something more of a dramatic statement than this little puny bridge. <laughs> so... Uh, so I'm going to do some research on that um, and try to try to figure out what I want. Um, but this is probably going to be where it's going to be at. Um, so I've got the curve around here. So, you know, probably what I'm going to do is take the stream back and then curve around like that back behind the embankment. But, uh, so that's where I'm at. That's what I've done today. Um, also because of the, when I dropped the valence, I had to now all of a sudden my clear plastic um, or acrylic, you know, covers, they're all too long. So I had to cut them and you can see one of them cracked. That stuff is harder than heck to cut if you don't have the right tools. You know, Lowe's will do it for you. If you have the dimensions, just get Lowe's to do it. And if they're small enough, I mean, they'll cut it out of scraps and it'll be really cheap. You know, so you don't have to buy like a whole 4 by 8 sheet. So that's what I'm working on. Um, I'll just give you an update. Uh, tell you where I'm at. Uh, can't think of anything else. I'm home this week, uh, but I'll be helping my wife now that the weather's warmed up, helping her out in the garden some. So, uh, but I'll keep you posted with uh, what I'm up to. Everyone, stay safe.